Hey guys, welcome back. I'm going to show you today how to use your Vibe Blender to make yourself a homemade nut butter. Having a high speed blender with a stainless steel jug that can handle both hot and cold is perfect for making nut butters. The Vibe Blender has a dedicated nut mode designed specifically for making recipes just like this one. Today we're going to do our nut butter with some almonds, some pecans and some walnuts. So let's get straight into it. So we're going to start by roasting off our nuts in a preheated oven at 180 degrees. It should only take about five to 10 minutes just until they're nicely golden and you can smell their fragrance. It's going to add a lot of flavor to our nut butter in the end. So it's really worth doing this step. For today, we're going to make our nut butter with two cups of almonds, one cup of pecans and one cup of walnuts. So after about 10 minutes in the oven, these nuts are really nice and lightly roasted. If you're using the stainless steel blender jug, then they can go straight into it while they're still hot. So we're going to blend up these nuts on nut mode in intervals of about 15 seconds. We'll use the tamper to push the nuts down into the blades and the spatula that comes with the machine to scrape down the sides in between. After the first 15 seconds, it'll look like a nut meal. Scrape down the sides and put it back on. It'll begin to turn into a paste. Scrape down the sides again and put it on for another 15 seconds. At this stage, it should be looking like a dry paste. So we can put it back on the blender and we're going to blend it now for about two minutes. It'll turn into a nice, smooth, oily nut butter. So this is all done now. In just a few minutes, I've got a really nice, smooth, shiny outcome. The beauty of this is that you can control the texture of it as well. So if you like it a little bit more crunchy and thick, then just stop the machine a little bit earlier. The last thing that you could do here is add in any additional flavors that you might like to put in. You could add some coconut sugar for sweetness, some cinnamon, or a little bit of salt if you like. You can add all of those in at this stage if you want, pop it back on the blender for a few seconds just to mix up. We're gonna leave ours as is today. I'm going to put it straight into a clean glass jar. It can be stored in the pantry or a cool dark place for a couple of weeks or in the fridge for a bit longer. So that's how easy it is to make nut butter at home using your Vibe Blender. We've done a couple of other nut butter videos on the channel already. We've got a choc hazelnut butter and a classic peanut butter. They'll pop up at the end of this video. We've got plenty of other tips and tricks on nut butters. Check out the blog on our website to see some of those. If you haven't already, click subscribe to see more of our Lavelli Life recipes. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it and we'll catch you again next week for another Lavelli Life recipe.